In this video, I'll introduce you to the Grafana Basic Monitoring Services for Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Grafana gives you the ability to monitor the physical and virtual resources. It allows you to do log file views, and it allows you to generate alerts. In this video, I'll show you the pre-configured data sources and Grafana dashboards used to monitor system resources. I'll cover setting up alerts and querying log files in another video. You can access the Grafana landing page from the service web UI from a browser enter https colon slash slash admin console dot the name of your PCA system dot the domain name. Here I'm showing the admin console URL that I mentioned blurred out for security purposes. I'm logged on as the admin user. I'll click monitoring under observability and management and this opens up the Grafana web UI. By default, when you install your Oracle Private Cloud Appliance and you've completed day zero configuration and you have external network connectivity, this is where you'll find Grafana information. You can access this page directly by going to https slash slash grafana dot the fully qualified domain name of your PCA system. You don't need to bring up the service web UI first if you just want to access Grafana. There is a basic configuration in place. I'll first show the data sources, that is, where you get the data from. You can get data from Lowkey, use the log file viewer. You can get data from Prometheus, which is a collection tool for the physical and virtual infrastructure. And we also have some information here about the Prometheus Alert Manager. Under Dashboards, you have a series of pre-canned dashboards. The dashboards are stored in a series of folders. You can create folders to put your own dashboards in. But these are the ones that are provided by the factory build. There is a lot of information here about Kubernetes monitoring. So this shows what's going on with microservices running on the management nodes. You can look at what's going on inside the Kubernetes containers in terms of how busy they are with system resources. You can look at what is going on with the Kubernetes nodes in terms of system utilization, such as CPU, memory, network, and storage. All of these Kubernetes dashboards are dealing with the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance management nodes and the microservices running on those management nodes. But we also want to know what's going on with the storage, with the networking, with the compute nodes, and with the virtual machines themselves. Under the MySaron folder, there are some read-only views that are created here. MySaron is one of the internal services. Saron is one of the microservices that's running the Prometheus framework. There is some Material under PCA 3.0 Service Advisor, health checks, and that sort of thing. And there is service monitoring. All of these are available out of the box. First, I'll have a look at the node exporter. This provides quite a detailed view into the individual compute or management nodes within your Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. It uses the default data source, which is Prometheus. I'm looking at the node exporter information that's going into Prometheus. And then I can look at the individual host. In this Oracle Private Cloud Appliance, there are three compute nodes and three management nodes, and I can select any one of these. I can see what's going on at a high level with CPU, memory, and disk. Here I can see more basic information around CPU, memory, and disk utilization. I'll scroll down to view network traffic rates. Going down further, I can drive down into greater levels of detail. By default, each dashboard will be looking at data over a predetermined time period. This dashboard is set up to look at things over the last 24 hours, but I can change the data range by clicking here and selecting a different time range. For example, I'll show what's been going on over the last 12 hours. Scrolling on down, I can look at information about network traffic, system processes, hardware information, which includes temperature monitoring. Next, I'll take a quick look at the switch dashboard under my Saron, which is looking at switch traffic. I can look at all of the switches, or I can look at just the two leaf switches, or just the two spine switches. I can see uplink port rates and the port channels, the mid, max, and current utilization. It shows input and output rates. It shows input and output rates for the storage nodes, so that's coming from the ZFS. Scrolling down, I see ISL, or inner switch link, input rates between the two leaf switches, or between the two spine switches. It shows the data traffic that's coming off the management nodes and the data traffic that's coming off the compute nodes. It's also pre-configured to show data traffic coming off the Exadata ports. On this particular Oracle Private Cloud Appliance, I don't have Exadata Direct Connect networking enabled, so these all show zero. I can also look at the ZFS storage appliance. 
Again, I can look at the two nodes, SN01 or SN02. I can look at the storage pools. I've only got the basic installation with a single storage pool. So here's information about the cluster status, any active problems, major, minor, or critical that are being reported by the nodes. It also shows CPU utilization, storage utilization, data analytics, how much iSCSI data, how much NFS data, network link data rates. The final one I'll show you is VM status under service monitoring. Here I can have a look at what's going on with any given virtual machine. The virtual machines are reported by their OCID rather than by their host name. So here I can see the network received traffic on a particular MAC address. It shows the MAC address, which compute node the virtual machine is running on, and the virtual machine name, which is the OCID. Click on any individual row and the dashboard shows what's going on with that particular virtual machine. I'll scroll down and show this dashboard also provides disk reads and writes, memory utilization, vCPUs allocated. This one has two vCPUs and this same virtual machine is running with 16 gig of memory. Again, I can select a time period and here I can see when the virtual machine was actually created or when its state was changed to running. I can also tell from this that there are two VMs running on Compute Node 2 and one VM running on both Compute Node 1 and Compute Node 3. This concludes this demonstration of the pre-configured Grafana dashboards for the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Thank you for watching. Please check out our additional information on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance documentation or in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance Learning Library.